This cork ring with the rubber stopper is a pycnometer holder. I need to get a background weight on that, a tear weight, and then I will put the pycnometer, empty pycnometer in and weigh it. I will only get that background weight of the core one time. Now we're going to fill our pycnometer. Now when I fill the pycnometer, I don't want to do it inside the pycnometer holder. It's important that this stays nice and dry. If we get any water inside that holder, it will mess with our background or our tear weight. So I'm going to take my DI water. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've put blue food coloring in it just so that it will show up and we need to place it inside the pycnometer. So I'm going to get a brand new Pasteur pipette from the box on top of the counter, place the rubber bulb on there, and use this to transfer the water into the pycnometer. Now when I place this in the pycnometer, I'll need to put the stem of the, of the pipette all the way down to the bottom of the pycnometer. This is why it's important to have a large opening on the pycnometer takes a steady hand to get it all the way to the bottom. I push the stem all the way to the bottom and then as I fill it, I pull the stem out. It's important that we get no air bubbles inside of this pycnometer. When the pycnometer is full, you'll be ready to take a mass. Check that you have filled all the way to the very top of the pycnometer, that there's no air at the top. Now before I weigh it, I want to make sure the outside is nice and dry, so I'm going to get a chem wipe. These are located at the bottom of your lab bench and just wipe from the bottom up. I don't want to actually get that tissue inside the pycnometer so it acts like a wick, so just a smooth motion. I'm avoiding getting my fingerprints on the pycnometer and then I'll, erase it, I'll place it inside the holder and now I'm ready to get a weight of the filled pycnometer. I will need to get three measurements for the pycnometer filled with DI water. That means I need to empty it partially and refill it and reweigh it for a total of three measurements. Okay, so solution number one is water. Now I need to put solution number two in there, which has got ethylene glycol, so I'll wear gloves to protect from ethylene glycol. I have a waste container. I'm going to get rid of the existing into the waste container. I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't get it wet. Takes a steady hand and I'll draw it out. Now, I need to put the clean solution in here. I'll get a new pipette. And I will put a little bit of this new solution in here. So I can see that now it's the purple color here is an indication that it's part red and part blue. If I try to just dump it out, the surface tension won't let it go out. So I need to draw it out. Okay, I have to do that three times, three times. Now it 
this point, it's almost red. I'm not gonna bother changing the pipe head anymore because we're so close to being there. Tippy top. Let's take my chem white. Down a little bit. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, for the chem wipe, I'm starting at the bottom. I don't want to wick this out of there. Drag it off. Up to the top. Put it in there. And you go weigh it. <laughs> 